favorite time of the day. Oh boy, let's see what we have today. Dear Enviro Pals, My name is Michael. I work at the Marine Science Center and the Mary Keller Seabird Rehabilitation Sanctuary in Ponce Inlet, Florida. I would really like it if Ray Ray could visit us at the sanctuary to see what we are doing to help sick and injured birds. We look forward to your visit. Your friend, Michael. That sounds like a green screen adventure to me, Ray Ray. What do you think? I think that's a great idea, Safari Sue. Well, from the sound of the letter, the people at the Marine Science Center have a lot of interesting things to show you. I can't wait to learn more about how they're helping our feathered friends. And it'll be great to see all the birds they're taking care of. Have fun, Ray Ray. We'll stay here in the house tree with the kids and watch your adventure on the green screen. Okay, Safari Sue. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash. Shabingo! Shabingo! Michael, Michael, are you here? Hey, Ray Ray, I'm right here. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for your tree mail. Wow, is this the Mary Keller Seabird Rehabilitation Sanctuary? It sure is, Ray Ray, and welcome. So, Michael, what is rehabilitation? Well, rehabilitation is when we take care of injured and sick birds and hopefully release them back to the wild. What are some of the specific steps taken to rehabilitate these animals? Well, it often will really depend on what is wrong with a particular animal. So when a bird comes to us, it may have a broken wing. And then just, just like when a, a child might have a broken arm and go to the doctor, it'll have to be set. And so we'll set the broken leg or broken wing. Uh, other times it might be a bird is wrapped up in fishing line or might have hooks in it. And in that case, we would have to unwrap that fishing line. We'd have to take the hooks out. And we'd have to doctor up all of the cuts and bruises and, and holes made by the fishing hooks and fishing line. Michael, do the animals know that you're helping them? What a great question. And the answer is no, they do not. And in fact, from, from their point of view, they think that we may be about to capture and kill and eat them. So it's very stressful for all of these birds to be in captivity. And so we try and have as little impact on them as possible. We try to stay away from them and treat them very, very gently so that we'll be able to get them back out to the wild as soon as possible. How long do birds have to stay in captivity? Well, you know, that's another great question, and it's another one that will depend on what was wrong with the bird when it came into us. Sometimes a bird might be the kind of a bird that maybe just as a songbird that flew into a window. Sometimes those injuries are not really too bad, and they may be able to just snap out of it uh, fairly soon, and in a matter of days, we might be able to release them. Sometimes though, like with a broken bone, it takes a long time for the bird to heal and that may take uh, a, a couple months. Other times, a bird might have to go through an entire change of all of its feathers called a molt. And if that is true, then it might take six months, maybe even a year before we're able to release it. Michael, how do you know when the animal is ready to be released? Well, with each different animal that comes in, we're always looking at them. We're taking a look to see uh, how has the wound healed? How has the illness progressed? Are they eating properly? Are they able to fly well? And so we uh, take a look at all of those different factors and when they're eating properly, when they're able to fly well, and when we are sure that they're gonna be able to make it in the wild, then we release them. What should I do if I find an injured bird? Well, the best thing to do is to get that bird to a licensed rehabilitation facility where there are people who really understand how to care for an injured bird will be there and they can care for that bird and hopefully get it back to the wild. Is there anything that we can do to help our bird friends? There sure are. There are lots of things that each one of us can do. One of them is to keep your cat indoors. Another one is that uh, when you go fishing, make sure you take up all of that extra fishing line and any fish hooks and dispose of it properly. Also, we can have our homes so that they become a haven for wildlife. 
we can have bird baths, we can have plantings of native plants and trees that really help to provide more homes for our birds. Wow, Michael, that show was fun learning about the Animal Rehabilitation Center and our bird friends. But it's getting late and I have to get back to Nigeria. I can't wait to tell my friends all about what you're doing to help the animal friends at the Mary Keller Seabird Rehabilitation Sanctuary. Okay, I better get going. Bye, Michael. See you next time. Shabingo!